Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a new uh, cycle for the Inkscape pro project. My name is Martin. I'm an Inkscape developer, and I develop uh, fixes and features in the user's best interests. Um, this week uh, is a brand new uh, development cycle. I am uh, developing new features now, now that the uh, Inkscape 1.1 1, 1 .1 is finished with. Um, before we get into what uh, f features I've been wor working on, uh, I want to give a big shout out to my lovely Patreon supporters. Uh, thank you all so much. And um, this con this uh, work that I'm working work on right, right now is actually a paid for contract. And I want to give a big thank you to Chris, who has worked with me over the past year to set up this, this work with his uh, en engineering firm. Um, thank you so much, Chris. I know it's been a lot of uh, administration headache and, and uh, sorting out your, your end. Um, okay, so this work is about the connectors tool. So if you're not aware, Inkscape has a feature which is on the toolbar for further down, which uh, allows you to connect two objects together. And then when you move either of those objects, the line that, that goes between them moves with them. Right. This is good for things like flow diagrams, uh, electrical diagramming. Uh, some, sometimes people use it for just arrows that point at things, and then the arrows just stay pointing at those things no, no matter where they adjust them to. Um, and this was developed quite quite a long time ago. And it, uh, it has a bunch of advanced fe features, but those advanced features are not really expressed well in the interface, uh, not really available. Um, and the entire thing is built upon having custom Inkscape namespaced SVG. So this is not standard SVG at all, which means that if you open this SVG file in some other pro pro program, it, uh, it w like the lines wouldn't continue to follow, right? So, uh, so this work has three uh, main parts to the contract. Uh, the first is uh, we need a way of creating what, what they classify as multiple jogs, which is multiple routes uh, where the line basically goes... Um, through midpoints, through checkpoints, uh, in order to get to its final destination. So you can modify the line in a way that is unique to the way in which orthogonal lines will flow. Right? This is very good for um, well, for many di diagrams, but also especially for electrical ones. Uh, the second is that they, we need to be able to define user-definable de connection points. Um, the work that I did last year uh, actually uh, added uh, multiple connection points to Inkscape, but they are effectively a proof of concept. They're not available in the interface. You can't add them yourself. It's technically possible to copy and paste the right objects with multiple with sub points, but um, it, it's not as useful until it becomes a part of the interface and norm, normal users can create objects with you know sub points in them. And the third is a uh, visual modification to lines so that they can jump over each other right? so that you deform the other line with a specific shape so that it can um, appear to jump over lines um, so th those are the those are the main points of the co the contract itself that's what the company wants the engineering firm the uh, goal of the inkscape project itself though is different the inkscape project would like the uh, connectors tool to stop being its own special child of a feature and start being a, a live path effect. Now, a live path effect is a, a system that was built uh, after the connectors tool existed, which uh, deforms and changes line positions and creates paths based upon um, complicated instructions, right? So it's everything from uh, bezeling to like curving to brush strokes to all sorts of really, really cool features. And um, it, it handles a lot of the ways in which lines are updated, right? The the, the process by which um, the the say for instance in this connectors tool example, those lines should be rerouted as you move objects around. At the moment, that's all handled manually with thousands of lines of code, and um, the project would like the um, most of that code to disappear so that it can just become a standard part of the of a live path effect and have commonality with many other fe fe features. It would still work from the connectors tool, right? So the connectors tool would still exist, but then when you create a, a, a new line, it uh, is actually applying a live path effect to that path. So what did, what did I get up to this week? Uh, this week was actually spent mostly reading documentation, uh, reading code and the history of the code, uh, making a lot of physical notes, um, 
Pepper, you're designing a new fe feature. Uh, paper is one of the best design tools that you that you can have, simply because it just allows you to draw little drawings and like figure out the headspace of what what it is that you're actually trying trying to achieve. Um, and then I spent the second half of the week implementing one of the features. So I started with the multi jog line rerouting, and um, created a new live path effect that allows you to uh, define a line. And then whatever the start and end points of that line is, it will um, create a multiple multiple jogged line, multiple checkpoint line. It'll create a nice orthogonal line. And uh, it, it, it works quite well. It, it, it took a few days to figure out like what all of the um, ways in which it should work should be. But once I got the, the basic design down for how the light path effect should uh, model this line correctly, then I... Uh, it wasn't actually too too hard, uh, which I'm glad about. Um, the uh, next part is going to be the um, connection points, right? So the the creating sub connection points is actually one of the most difficult parts of the project because it involves creating customized pieces of SVG, right? The, the Inkscape namespace stuff, and the way that we did it uh, previously is not great. Um, we tried to put some single point objects into the SVG specification, but they didn't want to have that in SVG. So um, this is probably going to involve some uh, feature breaking. So like the, the previous connection points may not work entirely the way that they do current, currently, but we'll just have to see how, how that goes. And the, um, the way it will work is that it will insert Inkscape namespaced point objects into any other object. So let's say you've got a rectangle or you've got a symbol or a clone or whatever, it can insert points into that object. And then you can connect to those. So once we have um, multiple points, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, then, then there's a lot of work that needs to happen to make sure that the interface can actually uh, do all the connections. Um, Make sure that when you move objects around, they update correctly. That sub objects work when you group them; it doesn't break them. When you, you know, there's lots of subtle tests that you have to run to make sure that even if you write a light path effect that does all of this, that uh, it behaves in the way that you kind of expect it should. Um, and the last thing I'm probably going to tackle in a few weeks' time is the is the little line jumps. I think those are probably going to be the easiest. We have some example code that does similar things. But we'll just have to see how easy it is and which direction and stuff, stuff like that. Um, that's about it for now. I'm going to be continuing working on the connectors tool, uh, but I will be having a live stream on Wednesday where I will be reviewing extensions. So I'm going to be spending the day reviewing extensions on the Inkscape website. And uh, these, the, the, the idea is that we need to make sure that they're verified, that they're safe to use, and then I'm going to be uh, certifying them myself. So I'm going to be basically saying this is uh, effectively okay to install. And that should allow the extensions manager to be able to install more extensions than it could previously. So I'll be posting a link to my Twitter and Patreon. Please come along if you're interested. And um, yeah, we'll just hang out and you can chat if you like. Thank you very much for jo joining me this week, and I I'll see you all next week.